Hey guys, not a newbie. Back again with more like Amazon unboxing type videos. I bought two things from Amazon over like the Black Friday slash Cyber Monday deals that they were having. Two Amazon products. Not sure what this one is, but um, I'm about to find out because I got two. One of them was supposed to come today. One of them was supposed to come on Friday, but instead, for some reason, both of them ended up coming yesterday. <laughs> so, um, and I do, by the way, I do plan on doing, like, more detailed reviews of my products, or the products that I buy from Amazon, after I have a chance to review them. Um, this is kind of, like, part of the reasons why I'm doing this is because, like, a lot of products on Amazon that look interesting, a lot of people don't, like, actually, like, even talk about on YouTube. Like, these gloves, like, I'm going to review these gloves, and I'm gonna, like, actually going to, like, talk about, like, what I like about them, what I don't like about them, from all different kinds of aspects that you would expect from, like, a normal unboxing video. Um, but a lot of people just don't talk about, you know, products like that. So, like, when you find it on Amazon, you just look at the reviews and that's it. But I hope to kind of provide a venue where you can, you know, look at, you know, people reviewing, like, the cheaper products that are available. Anyways, this here is the Echo Input. Um, I think I'll open it up and show you what's inside the box, but I'm not actually going to, uh, like, set it up or anything. So, let's see, this is what the box looks like. Um, I mean, it looks good as a nice design. I like the minimalism. They're not making it unnecessarily chunky, because really all that this device is supposed to do is connect to a speaker. It's basically just a mic that turns your, any speaker into a, uh, the only thing about this is I might have to get more power ports because I'm not sure if I have enough cables and such for all of this. But I hope this comes with a um, I hope it comes with a power cable. That would help. So basically, got like something that says "warning to avoid danger, suffocation." What basically says, "Don't stick your head in that." I don't know. Um, my head doesn't fit in there. Anyway, so you got this. So literally, like this, just wrap this in here. And, you know, the box is empty. So this is literally all that's in the box. Um, so you have here, you've got the input device, which feels really well built. Honestly, like, this doesn't feel cheap. This, I mean, I think it's the original price was like 35 bu bucks or so. It kind of feels like 40, 50 bucks, like. This might even have better build quality than the Amazon Echo Dot that I have. Um, so anyways, I think this is like the button to activate it and this is the button to mute the mic. What else is in here? We've got these things to try, which are kind of cool. Um, I do like making my own cards though for commands that, uh, or at least like back when I had mine, my Echo Dot, um, I'd make my own cu like cards with custom commands because it's not as adept to understanding the English language as the uh, Google Assistant is. At least in my experience, it wasn't. And you have to say things a certain way, especially for TuneIn. If you want to um, have like TuneIn, listen to a specific TuneIn channels, sometimes it doesn't understand exactly what you're, what channel you're talking about. So you have like this manual here. Um, has instructions. And it doesn't just like flip and turn like this. It basically like stretches out. So you've got like this thing here. So I guess if you're going to put this back down, then make sure make sure that you uh, fold it correctly. Okay, so, nice, nice. This is very, very good. It's got a charging cable right here. Micro USB, actually, let me move the uh, light down a bit. So you've got micro USB right here. I don't know if you can, you can see that, but that's micro USB. You also, oh, there's another cable here. Oh, nice. This is an auxiliary cable. So that's really cool. The auxiliary cable, all the cables that you need come in the box. And lastly, we have a power brick. So, you know, no need to worry about um, not having any enough chargers or anything. It comes with all the chargers that you need. It's surrounded by this plastic wrap here. Let me uh, take this off. Yeah, apologize. The episode's going to be a little longer than five minutes. But... Um... And, again, build quality is not bad. Not much that you can expect from a, uh, like a power brick. But, you know, for its price, 
you know, if you went with something cheaper, like even on Amazon, just getting a power brick, it wouldn't even be built this big, this 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 good. Um, let's see what the voltage is on this. So it's five watts, so not massive. But then again, it's not like some sort of turbocharger for a smartphone. So there you have it, the Amazon Echo input. Um, looks kind of nice. Looks like you have like four different microphones actually. So it'll be interesting to use that and see if that was any better than the uh, Amazon Echo Dot that I used to use. <coughs> um, but. Thanks guys for watching. Um, I'll be, be doing another video of my boxing of my other Amazon product that I got, uh, the Amazon Fire Stick 4K. So stay tuned for that. Thanks guys for watching. And um, that's pretty much it. You don't have to subscribe to my YouTube channel because it's terribly disorganized and extremely low quality content.